And hey, what's going on guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinking with a video on a gun I've been wanting to showcase ever since it came out. If you guys don't know me, uh, I'm a big Beretta 92 fan. I've got about four different iterations back at home. And so now this is the fifth. This is the 92X Performance. So it was built from the ground up to be a competition gun. Looks great, looks like it was made tomorrow. Looks so futuristic. But I'm gonna get some side-by-side -side shots and showcase them here uh, with my either late 70s or early 80s Italian police uh, Beretta. And so when you kind of put them side-by-side, -side, it's really cool to see how it's evolved. And really it's not dated, in my opinion. Um, and the fact that nowadays they're making this competition gun out of it uh, from the ground up, that's what it was made to do. So when you pick it up, it is stout, it is thick with two Qs or at least two Cs. But at the end of the day, as you guys know, these Brettas, they are double stack nine millimeters and hammer fires. So that kind of screams competition in its own right. If you see how Triarchs and Staccatos and Bull Armories and stuff like that, those 2011s, well, this ain't no 2011, it's the Beretta, but kind of runs with that formula. Interestingly, I don't know if you noticed, now it's got a frame mounted uh, safety, whereas before it was slide mounted. Some people didn't like that. Never totally bothered me, but now it's more 1911-esque or 2011-esque. Um, pretty cool. Nice and easy to manipulate there as well. Check this out. This screams competition as well. The uh, button to take it down, you press here and you can flip this over. Uh, but when you're not taking it down, you're shooting it. Flip that safety down, uh, your uh, thumb goes here. And then also it's a landing point. People call that the gas pedal. So that's the way you should be shooting. It's just as much contact forcing it down. So when it shoots, it's really not rising all that much. This one has the ability to mount red dots on it. Now, this is gonna be like a first impression kind of showcase. I'm looking forward to using the blackout rears with the uh, fiber optic front. That's a cool competition setup. But next month, I'm gonna make a top 10 performance pistols of my collection. I can already tell this is gonna be in there. By then, I'll probably showcase it with a red dot, but it does come from the factory with the ability to get plates and uh, run it with a red dot. Now, this has always been a Breda thing. See how much of that barrel you see on top. It's a very, very streamlined kind of cut slide. So it's not too heavy. A lot of that weight, especially on the 92X Performance, is in that frame, so it should keep it pretty uh, flat already. But Berettas have always been pretty flat just because there's not a whole lot of material on the uh, slide itself. So the performance specific, competition specific 92X, see how it shoots. Now I'll tell you what, actually, before we shoot the 92X, let's get a little palette, not cleanser, but a palette reset. This is my Beretta M9A3. And I know I like it because uh, I'm very familiar with it. So I've shot it plenty. You could probably tell from how marred up it is. I like this gun quite a bit. So before we even get to the 92X, let's go ahead and run some rounds through this. Interesting round here. This is 1776 USA lead-free uh, range ammo. All right, let's go ahead and remind myself why I like the Beretta 92s. Uh-oh. Come on. There it is. little high on that last one all right even when i'm missing i still like it it's a very very flat recoil impulse certainly the m9a3 has got the ability to suppress it which is pretty cool as well uh, they're on the a4 now which it also allows red dots it's kind of cool might have to consider picking one of those up yeah okay that's got quite a bit less recoil there it is all right let's go to that uh, uh texas star Uh -oh. It's got adjustable sights, and I think it might be just a tick off, or I'm just terrible today, but adjustable with a little flathead here, so that's really cool uh, from the rear. Uh, but like I said, I'm mostly looking forward to running a red dot on it, but damn, this thing feels really good. You know, I just realized too, this is me learning the gun. I totally messed up. Not until the very last round did I start putting my left thumb right where it should be. I think I was kind of floating it. Not until I put it where it's supposed to be did it soften the recoil even more. So I'm just not used to the Berettas having that landing point for my thumb, but all right, let's go ahead and load up another mag and let me actually use that feature. Wow, okay. I can't believe just how much of a difference putting your left thumb downward pressure on that. Huge difference. Oh, hell yeah. Flip over. Come on. Get back over there. Oh, okay. I'm a little hot. All right. I'm going to start holding down a little bit. That's all. Just for fun, back to the M9A3. Only five rounds loaded up to it. I'm going to try to effectively put five rounds as fast as I could. So if I missed, 
just don't judge. Uh, let's go on that steel silhouette here, and we're going to do it again on the 92X Performance, just to really compare. All right, I think I missed uh, the fourth, maybe third and fourth. All right, cool, that's five for five. Sits down way flatter. As much as I like this gun already, I've recently been spoiled by red dot, so now any single time I try to come out here and shoot with some speed, it's usually got a red dot on it. But these are really great irons. Um, they're etched kind of horizontally here just to mitigate glare. Blackout rears with fiber optic fronts seems to be the go-to for competition where they're gonna be iron sights. But uh, next time you guys see this, which will be very soon actually, probably within four videos next month, it's gonna have a red dot on it, and I'm probably gonna like it even more than I already do. But that is my favorite Beretta I own. Real quick, I forgot to mention, it comes out of the box, comes with a nice box actually, lockable, all that stuff with the code and everything. Uh, but it comes out of the box with two 15 rounders. Uh, don't understand why the uh, M93 comes with three 17 rounders, so those work in this. But I'm actually using my 18 rounders that are Metgar mags that came with my uh, Langdon Tactical. Uh, so we got 18 plus one in the chamber, so we got 19 now. Hi. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna hold down. Pearl old low end. Cool. All right, started getting better towards the end there. I do, in fact, I was using that as a little crutch, but uh, I do need to adjust that a little bit. I'm holding pretty low end on that target. Not bad though, not bad. All right, might have to cut it there just to keep this nice and short and brief as a first impressions, but yeah, uh, this thing feels amazing already. But I've just been spoiled by Red Dot, so once I put that on there, uh, it'll, it'll be among my favorite guns, I think, with those 2011s. So, very, very cool. And damn, again, let's get immature. It looks good, man. Like, really good. So that's not stainless steel. That sheen is like this kind of nickel coating. Anyway, that does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.